Dragon and um, Flat. This is how we're going to do Flat. Okay, so first you want to take your arm and slowly put it out. And then you want to take your leg and put it out. And that's how you do Flat. <laughs> This is how we're gonna do Red Robin. Keep your legs kind of like straight, but you know how you're at, when you're in a horse, um, your knee can't like, Wait, you should just can't keep your legs like this. Out of there. So you wanna take one leg and slowly bring it over. And then you take the other leg. You wanna be really careful because this flank is right there. And then you wanna slowly take this leg. And then you wanna spin around, just like that. Put your legs up, but you don't want to touch his front. And then you want to put your knees on his back. And then you want to slowly take one leg and put it on the path. And then take the other leg and the other one. And then slowly let go.
we've taken him off of his totally going because he's fat. So the recap of this week is so on Monday we worked on our pivot turns. On Tuesday we worked on our flying lead changes and just kind of fed them. Uh, Thursday, which was yes, Wednesday I don't ride. Thursday, I would have came to the barn, but I sprained my wrist, so I didn't. So I'm making it up today by riding bareback in his pen. in a while when you have a horse you need to stretch them so one stretch is you got to take their head and you got to bring it all the way over here all the way over here all the way over there Another thing you know to need to know how to do is you gotta need to pick up all four of your horse's feet so you can check for rocks before, every time before you ride. See, you gotta have them pick up. Um, how you pick up the front feet is you gotta grab right here under their fetlock and you gotta grab on their leg and you gotta click. And usually they'll pick up your, their feet just like that. For the back feet, you've got to do the exact same thing. It's pretty simple. When you're going behind the horse, you always have to let them know you're there or else they can't, because they can't see you right here. You gotta let them know you're back there. So right before we ride every day, I brush where the saddle goes, and especially the girth line so they don't take off with you when you have the saddle on. And then I do the rest of his body once I'm done riding, because it's easier because he's warm, and it's easier to brush your horse when he's warm. Babe gets to go out with Max on Sundays. She gets groomed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with the Gracie. I'm gonna be riding Wally today. William is working on his slow command because he's gonna be in the next dressage show. working on lunging without a lunge line and wooing without a lead line. Woo. <laughs> okay, so woo is starts off as a verbal communication and we work towards it being not a non-verbal communication. We use the word woo to have the horse stop in on the gun. Eventually when we move to the saddle, we do it only with our hips. 